programmer should. This is just a suggestion, guys. A programmer should be curious. Why? Because curiosity is, what, is what's going to make you learn without making it look and feel like you're studying. All right? If you're curious, you're going to start learning because you need to. You need to feed that monster and it's like, why, 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 why? Right? So you're going to go Google. You're going to start doing stuff. This happens to me. I'm like, why, 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 and why, and why? And boom, I just learned how to make a website. Fall. Awesome. Right? But if you're not curious like this, you're going to be like, oh, fuck, I have to learn this shit. <laughs> no, not good. All right? So if you're curious, I think is the best recipe for programmers because they will always be trying to search why is this like this. And when you study why is something like this and why is something like that and why is something like this, eventually this knowledge you can sell to somebody. Also, a programmer should be patient. This is another one. All right? You have to chill out, smoke a joint, relax, do it, <laughs> no problem, don't get stressed, all right? You're, you have to be patient because at the first time, chances are you are going to fuck up, all right? Chances are, and it happens to all the students, I type something on the screen, right? And I say HTML, and you type HMTL. And you're like, fuck, it's not working. Ah. No, chill out, it's okay, it's really the game, all right? It's HTML, it's HTML, oh, here we go, all right? Be patient, all right? Also, you have to be kind to yourself, okay? This one I don't apply, because you guys will see me tomorrow, I'll be like, fuck, fucking idiot, I'm a fucking idiot. I do this all the time with me, but because I don't take it seriously. You guys don't take that shit seriously, all right? Like, some people are like, fuck, I'm an idiot, I'm bad. I fail. <laughs> no. All right? Chill out. It's all right. It's okay, John. We call him. It's here. All right? The other one is that you have to be humble. The fact that you program, and this is a hard one even for me, because I have an ego bigger than so many. So be humble. All right? This is a hard one because when, when everybody wants to hire you, when there's jobs for you everywhere, when everybody's like, oh my God, can you do my app? Can you do my app? You're like, mm, whatever, whatever. Right? When you travel, you're like, yeah, whatever. Right? But if you stay humble, you're gonna learn more. And if you're humble, you're gonna ask me questions. And if you ask me the questions, we're gonna learn together, all right? We had students here that I look at the code and the code is shit. And they're like, and I'm like, any questions? No. Good. Like, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Like, Dude, come on, just ask the fucking question. Like, relax, all right? This one, you have to be confident, all right? What you will learn here, you will learn it, that's it. You don't have to do it five times to be sure you learned it, all right? Be confident. You did it once, you will do it again. If you don't remember, go to the code, copy, paste that shit. Relax, it's okay, all right? But be confident. Many people are not confident and they don't feel ready to start, okay? You guys start. As soon as you make the website you're gonna make, done. You start making websites. No more preparation, no more books, no more tutorials, no. Start doing stuff, all right? Be confident, you are good enough. What you will learn here will make you good enough. I have met many people and I have friends that keep studying. They keep checking out this tutorial. They keep doing the code academy. They keep doing this thing. They keep doing that thing. They, maybe they know more than me, but they just don't do shit. Because they're waiting like, maybe not. I have to learn a little bit more. Mm, I don't remember. Maybe I have to go back to the basement. Fuck that. All right?